Hi guys, I am Anna from Visual DH and I make dental hygiene videos to make your life easier. So today we're going to talk about the crazy lower lip. Have you guys ever had a patient that their lower lip is like unbelievably strong, almost as if they do workouts with their lower lip and you try to clean these lower anteriors and you cannot get in there for the life of you because their lip goes like this and you turn to pull their lip and it's like this fighting battle. Well, I have a couple tricks for you to maybe use to help with that lower lip that is a little too strong, okay? Trip num uh, trick number one is going to use a saliva ejector, okay? Now, it does not need to be on, but what you can do if you have that crazy lower lip problem with a patient is take the saliva ejector, have them bite on it on the premolar area, and once they bite on it, then the lower lip actually stops getting so stiff. So try that, just try it at home. Try to clench your lower lip, then um, uh, tighten up your lower lip and then clench on this. And you'll notice that the lower lip actually relaxes. So let's try it. Game changer for show. Now again, you don't have to have this on. It opens up the mouth just a little bit so you can still have a fulcrum on those lower anterior teeth and the lower lip isn't gonna fight you. Another tip, that I have heard people use, I don't know if it's my favorite, but you can try it, is where you take a cotton roll and you just put it into the vestibule area and it, it they'll still kind of clench a little bit, but you'll be able to get your job done. It kind of moves the lip away from the teeth. It can't get too close. Kind of just put it in there and look, you'll have room between the lip and the teeth. I don't know if this one's my favorite. I would try the other ones, but I've heard that hygienists love this. The other trick that I have heard is awesome is to actually tell the patient to hold their lip themselves. So you're gonna say, okay, well, I'm cleaning on these teeth here. Since you have such a strong, powerful lip, I'm gonna have you hold your lip out for me so I can clean. So you're just gonna have them hold the lip out. And for some reason, they say that the patient actually just keeps their lip nice and relaxed when they're holding it themselves. So those are three tips that I have for you. If you're suffering from a patient that has that strong lower lip, if you have never had that patient yet, you're lucky, but I guarantee you it is going to happen. So those are my tricks for dealing with a patient with a very strong, forceful lower lip. And if you like this, make sure you subscribe, do all that stuff that YouTubers tell you, subscribe, click the little like button, whatever it is, and put in the comments below if you've tried something else that works really, really well. And don't forget to visual, to join Visual DH to get a lot more videos like this. See you in the next one.